I'm back in the studio this evening and I had done this painting as a demo in a workshop so uh, the painting is is dry there's a couple of little tacky areas but for the most part the painting is dry and I wanted to play around with the powdered pigments and pan pastels just to um, show you how that it can change a piece of work and that you can stop at that or you can continue and paint over top. There are lots of powdered pigments on the market. Pearl X is one brand. Gamblin makes a line of um, powdered pigments. There's a lot that you can look up and find colors that speak to you. Um, they are pure pigments, so if you have any problem with res you know, respiratory uh, illness or problems, you may want to use a mask and make sure you've got ventilation. But I use them as touches to sort of change up an area and where this piece is predominantly orange and yellow and very warm I need to introduce a touch of cool so I think this blue powdered pigment might be and it is a beautiful powdered pigment rich color it is an ultramarine and you can put down a layer of clear wax in an area where you want the powdered pigment to go because that acts as your adhesive. And then I'm just picking a little bit up on this bamboo skewer and sprinkling So it makes small changes in an area of your painting. And after you put that on top of your clear cold wax, you use a piece of newsprint, just your regular school newsprint. And this embeds that into your painting. The newsprint is the best to use because if you used if you use tissue paper it can leave marks and lines and pattern and the tissue paper does not. So that gives you a little change in that area. The uh, powdered pigment can also be mixed on your palette. because it is pure pigment. Let's see if I can show you that. You can put some on your on your palette and take some of your wax. Uh oh. Let's try that again. Don't want to get warm white in, in it as well. But you can mix it with your wax and actually make that color so you can actually paint with it. And it, it reacts just like paint. You can also mix other colors into it. If you want to change that color, if you wanted it a little bit lighter, this is a lighter blue. And you can actually make color with your powdered pigment and your cold wax.
just as a continuation. I also like to put some of my powdered pigments into salt and pepper shakers and you would just put the clear wax on and shake some of this in and brayer it with your newsprint just like we did with the ultramarine blue. Uh, they also, you have all the pan pastels that come in beautiful colors and those you can use the same because you have wonderful color and let me show you that as well just if your painting was still wet you can put it directly into your painting but where this piece is kind of an, an older piece that has had a little bit of time to dry um, I need to put the clear wax down so that so that it will it will hold the, the pigment when I put it down and this you can actually scrape into your painting use your newsprint once again and be sure you don't put it on a wet area that you've used already but you brayer that in so you're picking up those little pieces and you can also take this and or your dry pigments and pick it up on your hand or a brush and actually change an area of color Just different ways of playing with different materials to change up a painting. And it's the same with your mark making. Um, as you know, I really love the Marabou Mixed Media Art Crayons. And they come in so many beautiful color sets. So, they set up in 24 to 48 hours and you can do some very subtle mark making. Marabou are so much fun to use. You can let those dry and set up. You can paint directly over top of them so that they are more incorporated into your piece of work. And so I'm going to just paint for a few minutes on this piece, this painting, and see where it goes. Nothing is ever lost because you can always add another layer and make changes. And it's what I call building a painting. No fear, no worry about covering something up because you can always go back into it. And this piece had a lot of different mark making and texture where it was a demo piece. You see, I can go directly over top of what I just did. Every time you introduce something new 
it changes the piece of work. And you can't be afraid of that. You sort of go with it and see where the painting directs you. So that's what makes it, makes it a fun process. You can work on a piece for a long time. You can do certain techniques and then come back to that piece later on. So you have some surprises about where that piece may end up. Your fingers are a very subtle blending brush that you can use. Just to give you some things to think about as you are painting in your studio that you may want to try. Some of these powdered pigments, pan pastels, and the Marabou Art Crayons. So we will continue on this the next time in the studio. Thanks everyone. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I hope that you will. And if you enjoy the video, please give it a like or a comment. Thanks so much.